Hey everyone, Tyler Bristow here with Centerline Mapping. I want to teach you a little bit about the R1 Plus Total Station. So it's right down here. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to show you some of the features and the benefits of conventional total stations. GPS receivers, they're really quick, they're really easy. Go out and stand on your paint marks and collect the positions and attributes about each utility asset. There are limitations such as going underneath trees, tree canopies, tall buildings, underneath bridges. You won't be able to collect high accuracy data and it would be a shame if a lot of your projects are, un are in some of these areas and you've, you know, you've only got a GPS receiver and you can't collect the position of 70% of your data. This is when conventional total stations come in hand. They're not expensive. Actually, some of the GPS receivers on the market today cost up to $30,000 and that's a lot of money. So what I want to do is provide a little bit of training on how to get started with conventional total stations. I have ran from these things for 10 years. I've been stuck in an office. GPS receivers, they're really simple to use and learn. And so are conventional total stations. I'm trying to flatten the learning curve. What I have here is the R1 Plus by Stonex. It is double sided so you can spin this thing around and you've got your controls on both sides. Okay, I'm not going to go into details about every single feature on this on this object but i want to show it to you so i'm going to turn this camera around and we're going to show it to you okay so this is the stonex r1 plus total station the companion of every professional utility locator surveyor and mapper the stonex r1 plus total station offers precise distance and angle measurements it's concentrated in five kilograms of pure technology. So it's not heavy and it spins freely. You've got these knobs right here. So when you, when you sight in on your, on your prism or on whatever you're shooting, you just spin this knob right here and spin that one and it's, it's locked in. And when you're ready to, to target in on your next position, you can spin it. And then you, you sight right through here. You look through there, you find your prism. You find your target and you shoot it, okay? This is how you interact with it. This one is not Bluetooth enabled. You can connect to your mobile device such as your UT10 tablet right here, but what you would need is you would need a cable. So that is doable. And we've got a user guide that you can learn how to use this. So basically you're putting two pins in the ground, two nails. You're gonna collect the GPS position of those nails you're going to come in here and you're going to go to memory and you're going to go through here. You're going to go to known data and you're going to enter your GPS positions for those nails that you put in the ground and collected high accuracy data for. You're going to enter that known data. So as you can see, I've got a couple jobs. Let's just go to job four. And this is where you key input. This is where you key in your information. So I'm going to go down here and I can click view and I can view those points. So it's telling me there's no data to view. Okay, let's do this. Let's go to key input. So I've got point number 41. There's my northing, my easting, and my Z value that I was able to read right out of my Cube A software on that mobile phone I just showed you. So I'm, you're basically putting two pins in the ground right here and right here, collect the position of both, and then you enter the position into this guy and you're going to tell him where he is on the surface of the earth. And once this thing knows where he is, whatever you shoot, it's going to know the distance and angle and it can calculate the position of that point. That is surveying for you, 101. So this thing does not have interference with tall buildings, trees, bridges, anything. You can set this up, shoot your entire project, export the data and import it into your free QGIS software. You can import that data back into Point Man. You can import it into AutoCAD, Civil 3D, ArcGIS Online. This is very precise distance angles measurements right here. It does all the calculations for you. It's very simple to use. And in fact, I've got a user guide right here. 
So if you go to my website and go to centerlinemapping.com slash products and you want to look at this R1 Plus Total Station, we've got a user guide right here that you can click and you can download that user guide and it's got a lot of the steps involved with setting this thing up and starting to shoot it. So if you want more information about it, definitely go to our website, check it out, download the user guide and get in touch with us if you'd like to rent one or purchase one. Well, thank you everybody. I hope this helped you a little bit. If you're interested, definitely feel free to reach out. I'm just going to be sitting here all day. I might go out into the field and use the R80 uh, robotic total station that I have. Test that thing out. I've got a lot of testing to do on my end. That's all I do is just test and teach people how to use stuff. So keep in touch. Have a great day. Bye-bye.